<clears throat> hey guys, it's Andy here, and tonight I'm going to be talking about what's uh, been going on with me this week. And uh, today, I finally uh, bought myself a juicer. It's a, a juice man, just a basic juice man that I got from Target. Um, tried it out today, and it worked great. Um, trying out a bunch of different recipes that I got from uh, this book called juicing for life and I realize that the screen is flipped so everything looks backwards but it's called juicing for life it's by uh, Sherry Calbaum stuff and uh, it's got some really basic recipes just to kinda help you get started which is really what I was looking for and uh, I'll give you a quick look at the uh, juice man that I got also backwards but yeah it even has an extra little thing that you could squeeze oranges and stuff but I'm not gonna be using that so yeah got this puppy from Target for about 80 bucks sounds expensive but it's actually one of the cheaper juicers out there so they had I think the other one they had was the Jack Lane one for like 110 but I just wanted a cheapo one just to kinda get me started so you know if anything were to happen or if I wanted to upgrade you know I I can you know and, by that time I'll actually kind of know what I'm doing because <laughs> I made the newbie mistake of uh, putting ginger in uh, one of my first uh, drinks and uh, yeah ginger root is a very powerful additive I think it would actually taste very good if I only used like a little bit of it but <laughs> I ended up using a whole root and uh, it's it's a very very strong flavor. It's kind of well, it's very unique, and it, it it burns a little actually. So when I tasted it, it burned a lot. So I'm like, Ugh. so I ended up adding a bunch of apples and some grapefruits and some greens and stuff to try to help kill the taste a little bit, make it a bit more tolerable. But you can only do so much and got kind of tired of adding a bunch of stuff to it so yeah I'll just have it uh, as my first juice for tomorrow and uh, I guess the whole plan for the juice fast is to first get myself used to uh, juicing and figuring out what products deliver the most juice which products I like which are easiest to prepare what goes with what and uh, stuff like that and so far I found that most products can be kind of not really interchangeable, but you can pretty much add anything to anything. At least from uh, some of the recommended stuff, from what I've seen. And they do kind of mesh together quite well. Now, for the main base that I have, I like adding uh, grapefruit juice. Grapefruit juice is definitely one of my favorites. So, for fruits and stuff, I have grapefruits, apples, and oranges. You can add other things too, but those are my main three that I have right now. And then for greens, I have uh, kale, which I guess is like the granddaddy of uh, all the greens. You know, it's supposedly like the most nutritious and has the most you know good stuff for you. And uh, I just took a nibble of it just to see what it actually tastes like, because I've never had kale before, and it, it's it actually doesn't really have much of a taste to be honest. It's basically like a, a bit more of a not quite as watery of lettuce it's like a crunchier lettuce basically so I put it in there and it was green it tasted green but it wasn't overpoweringly green so I added kale had some baby spinach I tried to find regular spinach but to no avail so added baby spinach that was a nice smooth green and I also found that apples really kind of even out the flavor of some of the more radical things like uh, ginger root. <laughs> yeah, definitely, if you guys are going to start juicing, use ginger root responsibly. I, I made that mistake and I'm going to pay for it tomorrow. And I think it would actually be good if used in small amounts. So you know, don't write it off completely. It's just I, I was an idiot and added a whole root. So live and learn and uh, anyway as far as uh, let's see what else do I have for greens um, well not really technically a green but I have uh, K 
carrots. I got carrots. Oh, I got green peppers. Green peppers, little tiny broccolis, because I didn't know if I should get the big ones, but I'm definitely going to invest in some of uh, the big broccoli stalks. Definitely going to invest in those. I got cauliflower. And oddly enough, I'm, I think I'm going to invest more in cauliflower, because I seem to get more juice out of cauliflower than most of the other greens. So, yeah, I bought like 30 bucks worth of fruits and veggies. It's crazy. And I pretty much used most of it for my first big juice. So, yeah, this might get a little pricey, but as long as I know what things to get and kind of narrow stuff down, then I won't just wildly spend my money for trying to figure out what the heck you know, I'm supposed to be doing. So, yeah, to spend most of my money on uh, greens and apples and grapefruits and stuff like that. I also got oranges too, which they're nice. But uh, anyway, um, so there's that. And uh, yeah, I guess the whole idea is to just kind of ease into uh, juicing, like I said, and then once I get used to making juices and trying to figure out, you know, how much I can get out of this and figure out prices and all that, then I'll actually go on the juice fast. So hopefully easing into juicing will kind of help help me from not getting you know the big crash that a lot of people seem to have on their third or fourth day of juice fasting it'll help kind of just make the process easier basically what I'm saying so but aside from that um, I'm also working on the uh, life in video for Convoy Street still I haven't really made much progress on that to be honest I've been real busy this week and uh, I also f uh, recently filmed my unboxing of the juice man and my preparation of my first juice so uh, that will be coming out as well but I'm definitely gonna get the life in video out before I uh, work on the unboxing so yeah those are in the pipeline those are in the works and hopefully this whole juicing thing works out and I, you know, start to lose some damn weight. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm still kind of jittery from the, uh, from the juice, even though I really didn't have that much. It's, uh, it's definitely interesting. And I definitely can see myself continuing with this, even as just like a, kind of a, like a side thing, you know, not really having just juice, but like, uh, that. But having juice as like a side and then having my main dish or whatever. So, yeah, there's that. Um, as far as like riff ideas and stuff, I've been working here and there, but I haven't really come up with anything new. Still playing around with song ideas, trying to write lyrics. Those are the hardest things to write because I don't really fancy myself much as a singer or even a songwriter. So those are hard to do and... I still got school and everything, so everything's got to balance out. But yeah, like I said, more stuff's coming down. Uh, hopefully be able to do more frequent videos just to give you guys quick little updates as far as, like, how I'm feeling on the whole Juice Fast thing. So, uh, yeah, um, maybe come up with a couple recipe ideas, show you guys. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. So, yeah, this is the Andy song. Signing off for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to this hopefully quick video. I don't know how long it is now, but also gotta thank you guys for uh, rating, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party, and uh, yeah, I also uh, look forward to your comments below. And as always, we'll see you next time. Good night, guys.